Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native tongue? We are Parthenians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the district of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Selfishness, 
dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warned you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, <coughs> generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, when the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst. He said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. He said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven, whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord of Jesus. Well, I'm thinking about last year, last whole year ago, Pentecost, and um, it was the last Mass that Father Jeff was here with me, and it was the last Mass before of lockdown, the last mass of lockdown, and, um, and so you're all on your uh, <laughs> on your uh, Facebook uh, or your YouTube uh, watching, and uh, or we 
joined the forces of the Queen of the World for that period of time. And uh, so, it makes you think about where we were then, where we are now, and how the Holy Spirit's working. It certainly makes me think about it. Um, the Holy Spirit guided us to do things like live stream, like live stream of these masses, every mass, uh, have family masses on Sunday evenings, once a month. I would uh, enrichment for all ages. And uh, the latest thing, I suppose, would be the, the TV monitors uh, adapting, adjusting to things. And uh, it is God in heaven guiding us in ways that are, that are, you know, of the Holy Spirit. And uh, those are the, some of the things, but you know, other things have been happening. God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? You think about how it's going to work in you in a whole year. It's a thing to think about. It's, and where was the Holy Spirit? And, uh, you know, you have your own road answers, you're all different, your own circumstances are different. And uh, sometimes I think about those things, and I wish right, right now something could come to my mind, but you know, it goes, you think about it later. But uh, the Holy Spirit. And so, uh, you know, so what's next? You know, where's the Holy Spirit going to lead us now? What's going to happen, you know, as we are phasing out of uh, the, the COVID-19, you know, hopefully, and uh, where the Spirit will lead us, you know. Pope Francis keep, and others keep saying, we don't just go back to normal, and, you know, as we went through all of Lent, we remember ourselves to, to dream, right? That's what he said, dream, dream, dream. What is the Spirit guiding us, you, us, you know? And, uh, you know, in the book of Joel, it says about the Holy Spirit that, you know, uh, people will dream dreams, meaning the Spirit will, you know, inspire and move us on in, in, in certain ways. So, you know, I keep thinking about it, you know, don't you feel like at times, like, um, need a shot in the arm spiritually somehow or something? You know, it's, it's just always been so, it's so unusual. You know, we know God's here, we know the Spirit's there, we know we celebrated Easter, all that, how <coughs> to cross, we believe in the reality, but somehow, we're like still like treading water upstream or something. And the whole idea of a new Pentecost, you know, was a, something that uh, Vatican II came up with. Uh, Pope John the 23rd, you know, open up the windows, open up the doors, let it be in the church, let the Holy Spirit come. And, uh, you know, that's indeed something that would be very wonderful. So, you know, So, the things that the Spirit talks about is the gifts, right? The gifts of the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, what would they be? Where are they going to go? How are they going to transform in our life now, even on this Pentecost day? The things that I would love to see, we would love to see, is an enthusiasm, right? An enthusiasm for God. An outpouring where people, you know, where we have a full built church building here, right? And the people would be all fired up for God and to, to keep moving on in His ways. And, um, you know, and then there's things that we hear about. Um, you know, He said, forgive sins. He read on and said, forgive sins. You know, we can be more forgiving, like, oh, grudges and all those things. Next thing, you know, the whole belief in healing. God, continue your healing. Jesus, heal in our hearts, our souls, our, our relationships. And, you know, um, the Pope has. Also said, that's, we're having a marathon prayer to end the pandemic. We think of those suffering people, you know, we're doing pretty good. You know, of course, we just think about India or something like that. That's where we got to be together and work together and heal. Then we move along. Joy, you know, things that the day was talking about the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Peace, peace in our hearts, you know, not this unrest, not this not, but, but peace, peace that the Spirit can give. Understanding, to say the right things, knowledge, to explain the truth, courage, to drive out fear. These are the things that we pray for, we hope for. And also the wisdom of how to move forward, how to go on, how to encourage. Um, on June 11th and 12th, First Baptist Church is inviting anybody, all of us, uh, to something. And it's a, a Reverend Jeffrey Johnson, and his special is some of the things we're talking about. You know, what to do after post COVID 19, 
how to discover all the people's needs out there, how to reach out to them and say, hey, come here, we've got something for you to help, you know, and things like, I'm not like a St. Paul or St. Peter today, I'm a kind of a shy kind of person, but I, how can I reach out to people in, in, in my personality, who I am? So he talks about, he'll be talking about that too. He's going to be, you know, how we can grow and how the Spirit's working now and, and how we can, and so it's not sound interesting. And at, at the Baptist Church on a Friday night, June 11th, and on a Saturday morning, June 12th. Anyways, everybody interested, you know, let me know or we'll go on June 11th or 12th. So that's that. But uh, so what we got to do then is, is keep praying. And so, you know, we can talk about things, uh, we can do things, but we need empowered by the Spirit. It seems like being empowered by the Spirit and prayer it definitely, definitely helps. And uh, so the, the, the prayer, of course, is come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, we shall be created and renew the face of the earth. You know, we heard read that in the responsorial song, we heard her opening hymn, renew the face of the earth. And you know, we need that in a new way today. So come, Holy Spirit, send us the fire of your love. Send us a new Pentecost through the power of the resurrected Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Son of Jake and Nora Hockenberry Sword, 
on his baptism day. May he grow to know our loving God and be blessed all the days of his life, we pray.
pour out upon these gifts the blessings of your spirit. We pray, O oh Lord, that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ending, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Heaven. We look forward to his second coming 
We offer you in thanksgiving this holy, this living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of the holy of your Son, Jesus, may be filled with his Holy Spirit, to become one body, one spirit in Christ. We make of us an eternal offering to you. We have obtained an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, St. Mark, St. James, all of your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Your servant, Pope Francis, our Bishop Lawrence, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family. Some it here before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your people scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you and their passing from this life, to your kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor is yours forever and
sins of the world. Blessed are those called who suffer for the Lamb. Lord, Lord, the word of my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ will forsake eternal life.
pray. May the gifts we consume benefit us, O Lord, when we always be aflame with the same Spirit whom we wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow, this is wonderful to have us.